The police in Lagos State have insisted that Sylvester Oromoni died a natural death. The State Commissioner of Police, Hakim Odumoso, however, stated that a coroner inquest will still be carried out on the cause of the death of the student. He said that the two autopsy results, the one from the deceased student's family and that of all the parties involved and the Lagos State government, showed that Sylvester died a natural death. At the end of the diligent investigation carried out so far, there is no evidence to establish a case of torture, bullying, and forceful application of poisonous substance against the suspects. All the suspects denied the allegations of torture, bullying, and administering a personal suspect, poisonous substance to the deceased. Allegation that the deceased was being forced to join a court group was also not established, as other students interviewed denied this. Final results of the postmortem and toxicology examination conducted, both at Wadi and Lagos, agreed that the deceased died of natural death. Before the expiration of the 21st, 21 days remanded or remand order, the families of the students applied for their bail at the Manchester Court on Yaba. The application was approved, and the students who were earlier remanded at Boys Home or Legum were granted bail. The South Masters were also granted bail after the expiration of the 21 days remand order. He also warned those threatened to go to any length to protest the outcome of the investigations to go the legal way or be ready to face the full wrath of the law. Meanwhile, the Romani lawyer, Femi Falalo, and the father of the deceased student had noted that the acquittal of the suspects was to pave way for the reopening of the college. Family members are insisting on the coroner inquest into the death of the schoolboy. Now, as public and private primary and secondary schools in Lagos resumed for the uh, second term Tuesday, Plastic Africa visited Doan College. There was a rumored opening of the school. So Plastic Africa visited but found out the school was still closed. Father of Sylvester Romani is strongly opposed to the resumption. He says even if it takes 30 years, his son's remains will be unburied. A cross-section of Lagosians bared their minds on the situation. Plus TV Africa's correspondent, Destiny Momo has more. Is Darwin College resuming for the second term like other schools? It's already 9 a.m. this morning and the Plus TV Africa crew got here at about 6 a.m. this morning to monitor if Darwin College is actually opening today as information reaching us speculates. But we've been here for over three hours and there is no sign of resumption of Doen College. Schools are about resuming for second term. Most parents have prepared their children for school resumption. But Doen College has more to deal with than school resumption. Here is what some parents think. I don't know. I don't have an idea. I don't think with all the problem that is around, I don't think they are. They have to sort out the problem first. It's a dodgy one, but I would say, yes, the students should not be penalized, but I'd be very disappointed to see the same the management that they had last year coming into this year. Something significant has to happen as to how they are managing the school and specifically bullying. I, I don't know. I can't, I can't say much because I, yeah. But if, if it's done properly, if people are okay with it, then it should open. If not, then maybe they haven't really done much. On the judgment by the Lagos State Public Prosecution, Father of Sylvester Oromoni rejected the outcome. He insists his son's remains will stay for as long as it takes for justice to be served. I feel bad now. Will I be happy? I'm not happy at all because uh, uh, the investigation was not properly done. There is a very serious, high level conspiracy between the local state government and the police. Probably because the whole of the school is a Yoruba man. Most of the boys involved are Yoruba. And probably the family of those boys are so wealthy they are people they I don't know. But I'm surprised. It's not going to be buried until the end of the matter. Even if it takes me 30 years, I don't care. 
and Assistant Director in Charge of Public Affairs Unit, Ministry of Education, Lagos State, Ganiu Lawal, spoke on phone to our correspondent. He said no information on the school's resumption could be given until the coroner's inquest sitting on the 15th of January 2022 is concluded. The John National Council Lagos chapter staged a protest as other groups are planning to win back on theirs. Sylvester Romani Jr. is dead. Will he ever get justice? Destiny Momo for Plus TV Africa. When I have joining us live, the father of uh, Sylvester Romani Jr., Mr. Sylvester Romani. Good evening, Mr. Romani. Good evening. Good evening. Thanks for joining us on Plus TV News Now. Once again, we sympathize with you on, on the death of uh, Sylvester Jr. Yeah, no problem. Thank you very much. Okay. Um, uh, let's, let's start this way. Uh, when last, I assume, my assumption, that you're still uh, that you're in, in communication with the school. When last did the school reach out to you? Did, did they have, uh, when last did they have a conversation with them? No, the school, uh, they have not called me since the death of my side. Nobody called me. It was only the principal who called me one day. Just called, say, uh, I just called to greet you. I wish you a happy and stuff. That is just all, nothing. So that was they don't a, call around the Christmas. They joined the family to fight. So that was around uh, around Christmas. Okay. Yeah, before the before the Christmas. From okay. the just that, just only that. Hmm. Okay. Now uh, we want your we want your reaction to to the to the judgment and the Lagos State government's decision on this matter. What's your reaction? I've said it before. I said that is the, this is the height of conspiracy because uh, you cannot say you finish. You told me something today. Two days time, you come on air and say you are the police commissioner. You finalize. Only the commissioner is the judge. Commissioner is the medical doctor. Is the legal practitioner. I'm not surprised. Okay. So um, now, what do you want the the state government to do? What do you want the government to do? Uh, the state or the federal government, so what do you want now? Let me, let me tell you, Lagos State is a state that people respect a lot. Mm -hmm. That's why you see every tribe are there, coming to do business there, because they respect the government of Lagos State. But the outcome of the what they just did them for years is, uh, one is not impressed at all. Mm -hmm. I think there is no reasonable government that will listen to this kind of uh, something and close there. Uh, I'm sure uh, the governor of Lagos State is a reasonable person. They will not allow this to continue. And uh, if they open the school, I'll be so disappointed. Because I, my boy was placed under the care of the school. Hmm. All whose care was the boy kept? Hmm. Okay, See? now. You're yeah. the one that called us. I paid them fees, them school fees, like other parents. I'm not going there. Okay, now uh, the John National Council had a protest today. They had a demonstration uh, to support you, to show their solidarity. Um, how is that going? Um, what outcome has that pro uh, produced? What do you see uh, that achieving for you? Uh, let me tell you, the protest has been on now. It's on the IYC is not the first uh, people to protest. Uh, everybody has been protesting. Yeah. Everybody thought. See, this, this, what I'm doing today is not for my child to come back. It's for every other Nigerian innocent children. So, something like this will not happen to any parent. If it happens to you, you know that something sucks. If it happens, like this commissioner now, if it happens to him directly, he can't stand it. He can't stand it. God is seen all of them. Hmm. Okay. Now, um, your, your lawyer, Mr. Femi Falano, uh, is, is, has already got a hang of this. So what, what could be the, his next line of action? What's your brief with him? Anyway, I, I, I have briefed him now. The next step of uh, action depends on him. I know he's doing something. I'm not a lawyer, but uh, I, I rely on him. 
the other smaller clients that are working with you too. So, well, we, we know that we'll get that. What is, this is just the beginning of the case. If God keep me alive for 30 years, my son will remain there for 30 years until I get justice to my son. I'm not bothered. I do hope you get justice as well. Uh, well, and the CP uh, says uh, th they're still, they're, they will still have um, uh, an autopsy. Uh, despite the Lagos State government's decision, there's still going to be uh, an autopsy. So is that any consolation for you? Let me tell you. I can tell you, I can back myself to tell you that they did not carry out any autopsy. They know what they are doing. You know I said? That is the height of conspiracy. Autopsy that was carried out by pathologist from the family and the school, is that autopsy? The one that came from Delta, the family does not have a pathologist. We don't have. It was the police from Delta State that called on somebody from Central Hospital to carry out that autopsy. That's why you see police staff in all the pages. I, the father, the family, we, we asked of a copy from the police. They refused. They said, our lawyer was right. I don't know how to write. Before police gave us a copy. We don't have pathologists. The guy that came from Delta to join them was the one who carried out the one in Delta State. He came and that Tuesday morning, he was in a meeting with them from 8 o'clock to 4 o'clock. Four of them on the five of them. What were they discussing? What were they planning? Hey, Nigeria. Hmm. They have children. They have grandchildren. They will see it. Mr. Romani. Mr. Romani, um, I, I feel your pain. We, we all do. Uh, we, we feel your pain. We know, um, of course, uh, whether or not it has happened to anyone, we, we understand how you feel. Uh, but then the CP says categorically that I'm not talking about the, the, the current judgment now. He says categorically that they will have another autopsy. They're going to have an autopsy. So is that any consolation at all? Are you, do you have any hope in that? Do you have any trust in that whatsoever? Who is, who is doing that one? The CP that has already taken side. Who is a judge? Who is a medical doctor? Is he the one to carry out the autopsy? And then forget about that uh, is second side already. Is it the first city? Uh, uh, what is it? We need a man in that position forever. Won't you go up after the civilian? You think he will remain there for, for forever? Conspiracy of the highest order. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for, despite uh, your pains, thank you for making our time to speak with us on the news tonight. Uh, we do Thank hope, we do hope, we Thank do sincerely you. hope that you get justice in this matter. Thank you very much. Our, our condolences once again. Thank you. You're welcome. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.